This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how we can apply several policies in API Manager. Uh, client ID enforcement, car, cross origin resource sharing, rate limiting, rate limiting SLA base. Let's get started. First, I am going to apply client ID enforcement policy. Let's go to API manager. Uh, by the way, yesterday we have, I mean in the last session, we have uh, create, uh, we have applied basic authentication. Uh, for now, I have removed it to apply a new policy. So, go to apply new policy and we can go for client ID enforcement to enable client ID enforcement. But before the, we have to follow two steps. The step one for client ID enforcement is create client application for the API in exchange. It will generate client ID client secret for us. Use client ID and client secret to consume this API. Okay, go with step one. Go to exchange. So I would like to create client application against to this API. Click on it. Click on a request access. Here I can I do not have any application. Let me create an application. Uh, let me take as a dev iPhone. API-client, these are all optional parameters. Click on create. And now I have created dev-api-client. Next, select the API instance, nothing but your version and API ID. Click on request access. Now it will give us a client ID and a client secret. We should use this client ID client secret before consuming this API, which is available in Exchange. So come to API Manager now. Apply new policy. Expand client ID enforcement. Select latest version always. Configure policy. That's it. So it was expecting client ID and client secret in the header and it will validate against to your client application you created in the exchange click on apply here we need not to add anything now client ID enforcement has applied it is saying that authentication denied so for that we have to pass client ID and client secret through header so here we have header go here give client underscore id and the value will be from the exchange that we created and client secret will be client underscore secret Now I can see this. For suppose, let me pass wrong client ID. Let me remove seven. Then invalid client, or let me send eight. Invalid client. So it is able to validate against to the your client application that you created in the exchange. Let me set it back to seven and hit again. Now it will give us the response. This way uh, we apply the client ID enforcement this conference will now be recorded okay now uh, we will apply cost cross origin resource sharing as i told you to allow from different origins we have to apply this policy applying this policy is very simple click on apply new policy go to cross origin resource configure policy just you are making as a 
public resource or you can go for support credentials by expecting some credentials you can make it as a public apply so that in everyone from front end technology also javascript angular js jquery any front end technology can able to interact to this service and next we are going to apply rate limiting basically what is rate limiting is for suppose you would like to restrict the number of requests towards api suppose a new mobile uh, has hosted in the market so usually they keep they release first 500 access uh, i mean 500 mobiles first that means it allow us only to make a transaction 500 only how it happens in the real time is using rate limiting that means you will restrict the number of calls for specific time okay to do that apply new policy go to rate limiting configure policy here number of requests how many requests you would like to allow in particular time period i would like to allow two requests in particular time period of one minute time so in one minute this api allows now only two requests it has applied yeah let me make one request now it can same second request f1 same third request quota will be expired that's it this way we apply rate limiting now let me delete this because i would like to apply the rate limiting with respect to the sla tire so before that go to sla tires add a sla tire uh, let me take as emp on board SLA tire description if you would like to add we can add and the number of requests I would like to allow is two and time period is one minute and time unit is minute click on add done so we have this SLA tire now go to policy apply new policy Click on rate limiting SLA base. Configure policy. So here you see this would be combination of your client ID enforcement along with rate limiting. Here it was expecting the client ID, client secret, and also the rate limiting has applied. So what I'm saying is this is combination of client ID enforcement and rate limiting so that it will all expects client id client secret and also it will permit the request two per a minute that's all the rate limiting SLA based there